Like you keep saying that Iran was in complete uh, compliance with the agreement before May 2018. But that's not entirely the case because the way the, the, the way the deal was structured, if Iran came out of compliance for any reason, there was a way for them to get back into compliance. And so, in fact, there were numerous incidents of noncompliance or what might uncharitably be called violations, particularly with the heavy water uh, production and storage. And when they exceeded on the heavy water, when they exceeded their heavy water production and storage, the U.S. and other countries stepped in and bought it, the excess from them, which meant that if they violated the agreement, they would actually get paid for it. So it's all very nice. It's all very well to say the great that irony here, Matt. The great irony of this is that with the United States not in the JCPOA, we no longer have that no longer remedial able, method. You're no we, longer able to pay we the can't, Iranians. We for can't go back the to the it's Joint like, Commission. No, hold on, wait, wait. We, we, we can't go back to the Joint Commission uh, and uh, make clear uh, when we think Iran has come into violation of the JCPOA. Um, look, I. Again, I would point you to the fact that uh, we have full faith and full confidence in the Director General of the IAEA, full faith and full confidence in the IAEA. Uh, the IAEA, while the uh, uh, Iran deal, while the JCPOA um, was in full effect, while Iran was abiding by it, uh, they expressed confidence that Iran was living up to its limits. Now, um, uh, this is a not an uncomplicated uh, set of issues, uh, and I know you're referring to uh, some of these technical matters, um, but uh, the IAEA, um, and I certainly wouldn't want to speak to them, but I suspect if you go and ask them, uh, they will tell you that they were satisfied um, by Iran's compliance with the deal. Iran was complying with the deal. More importantly, Iran was permanently and verifiably prevented from obtaining a nuclear weapon. That's what we're going for here. You can say that they're technical issues, but you know that that's the, the entire agreement hinged on technical issues, right? Inspections. Uh, the entire agreement thing. hinged so, hinged on a very simple premise: Iran I, was permanently and verifiably prevented from obtaining a nuclear weapon. You guys, you said it sounds as though you're upset that you're not able to pay Iran to come after it violates the agreement I, to come I, back Matt, into you compliance. You didn't hear those words come out of my mouth. They came out of your mouth. So, uh, yes, Kylie. Um, just 